Here we have the new Z-axis bolted onto the Gen 2 machine, and it is a direct bolt-on, so all the old parts from the original Z-axis can be reused on the new one. We designed this new Gen 2 Z-axis to address a lot of the issues that the original one was having. And the biggest issue the original one was having was actually the printing of the parts and the assembly of the Z-axis itself. So on the old design, we opted to go with a press fit for the linear bearings and that press fit design also had retaining rings and the retaining rings were kind of hard to print if you had a smaller nozzle size and then they were just not the easiest to install or disassemble if you had to so we moved to a clamping design where the bearings just kind of drop in and then these screws here are used to clamp the bearings into place much like the XL. Another thing we also did to make the printing and assembly easier was we added these set screws to hold these linear rods into place. What that allows us to do is loosen up some of the tolerances on the linear rod so that hole doesn't have to be such a tight fit and then you can use the set screw to hold that in place so they don't rattle around and you can have a easier assembly by doing that as well. Another thing we did was we went from two to four bearings on the part that holds the torch. So it's a lot more stable and the torch will be held in place a lot better. We also removed the springs from the driven part to the floating part. And we were able to do this because we actually inverted the orientation of the floating and the driven. Instead of the driven being on top, it is now on bottom and the floating part just rests on top of it. So by removing the springs, we were able to remove the issue that people were having when trying to source the proper size spring. Also by removing the springs, what that does is it's less force when the machine is probing that it has to overcome in order to activate the switch. So the result of this is there's a lot less deflection when probing on thin metals and the chances of getting good accurate probing go up dramatically since the metal isn't deflecting as much. So overall, this is a much better design and a much simpler design. So let's go test it out. So I've got the part here that I cut out of some thin stainless steel. It looks like it turned out nice. And this is for a burger press for making smash burgers. So I'm gonna get this part bent up and put the rest of the thing together. 